Along our coastal trip, we stopped at the Piedras Blancas Elephant Seal Rickery. This is a really special place, and we got to talk to some of the volunteers to hear what kind of work they do and why it is super important uh, for the protection of these animals. So let's hear from them on why this place is so special. Um, our, our principal role here is in, is in interpretation, is in providing the visitors with a set of eyes that have a little bit more knowledge of what's going on on the beach, why the seals are here, what they're doing, uh, and explain about, a little bit about the seals' lifestyle, if you will, uh, and provide just a little bit more education. Uh, awareness always helps with preservation and conservation. Uh, we are also a set of eyes that likes to preserve, if you will, or to help uh, protect uh, the environment. This is a unique place. You're at the Piedras Blancas Elephant Seal Rookery. This is the largest mainland elephant seal rookery in the world, home to about 25,000 elephant seals. But that's a bit misleading because the elephant seals actually live in the ocean. They don't live here. They do come ashore twice a year, and when they come ashore, all depends on their gender and their age uh, and where they are in their life cycle. So what we're going to see today is a bit of a change of the guard, if you will. We're in the transition between two happenings, two things that are going on on the beach, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. To ensure that the management of this location is done correctly, it is important to understand why and when these seals are coming up onto the beach. Elephant seals will come up onto the beach to molt as well as to breed. Juveniles will also hang out around the beach while they're growing up. Here we see two diagrams showing the life cycle of these seals. A shows juvenile seals and B shows adult seals. The blue represents the time they are foraging in the ocean and the orange shows time when they are on land. This diagram shows the cycle of what seals are on the beach at what time of year. As we could see, it's spread out into breeding, molt, and then juvenile hangout. Understanding these intricate life cycles of these elephant seals is important in managing them and ensuring that human impacts don't affect their survival. This is because each activity that requires them to be up on the beach provides a different set of management challenges. With respect to visitor management, if you will, <laughs> we're more reactionary than we are management. Uh, we just ask visitors to adhere to a, some very simple rules. We're a no drone zone. Uh, the drones do disturb the seals, uh, and uh, we, don't, we don't want to upset the seals. It is a federal crime to uh, interfere with marine mammals, so we, we try and protect them. And, uh, she can speak a little bit more to, to that because she also works with uh, another organization here on the coast that helps protect marine mammals. Um, it's no smoking zone. Um, there's no uh, visitors are allowed over the fences and down onto the beach. Uh, this is my starting my third season out here now and I have never seen anybody try and scale the fence. <laughs> I've seen people do some inappropriate things like throwing pebbles and doing things like that. And you try and just bring them up to speed in terms of why that's not a very good idea. The one place we do end up in management is during the breeding season, um, which starts in, in December, breeding and, and birthing, um, down at uh, San Simeon Pier, all the males that get beat up or just can't get in here because they're not bad enough, <laughs> they go down there, you know, some years there's a lot, some years there's not so many, but they go down there just to recover. And that's a public beach. And and so we have people there to keep because there'll be sometimes I when I was first started three years ago three years also you know when you know there was like 15 or 16 on that beach in a stretch of about a mile and uh, some years there's only four or five or even less you know at one day on a given day but but on um, um, you have people that try to go touch them we've had to like stop people from walking right up to them and the thing that amazes me the most is people that bring little children within 10 feet of big elephant seal. They think it's kind of cool to try to get pictures. <laughs> These are wild animals that yeah. can weigh up to 5,000 yeah. pounds that just lost the opportunity yeah. to mate for the rest of the season. <laughs> they are not in a good yeah. mood. Yeah. <laughs> they're just laying there, they're just laying there, and they're not like all aggressive. And sometimes people don't even realize, like there's a lot of rocks there too, 
And you can be walking along there and not even know that there's an elephant seal laying five feet from you as you walk upon it. As we heard from the volunteers, much of the management here at the Elephant Seal Rookery is in education and awareness to help ensure that human activities don't interfere with the process and the life cycle of these elephant seals. This ensures both human safety as well as elephant seal safety.